Okay, so we're... Let's talk about uh, alignment tools quickly, Tim. Okay. And the software is designed to prevent collisions between stones because that creates an error. Correct. And it just creates more work because when you don't know where the collision is, you end up finding out when you run the file. So it just doesn't do it, and it allows you to do the final stuff. In, in this case, zoom out for one sec. So we have the letter A, and uh, it's uh, it didn't put a stone in there because of the spacing we chose, but we want to just tweak that. So right now, put uh, we think we touched on it before, but put a stone in the top of the A for me. And just explain how you do it. Okay, I'm using the zoom tool because I want to... And there's more than one way, we know that. So just explain which way you do it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to select the element. And I need to duplicate this. I'm going to hold my Alt key down and then move this element over here. But don't move it so nicely. Move it out of the way. That's almost even. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, perfect. That's what I want. Because I want to show what the tool does. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is, now we want to align these, uh, so I'm going to select these, yeah. and then go to Layout, Arrange, and Distribute, Align to Selected, and I'm going to do... But again, these will be shortcuts in the, in the menu up top, right? Right. Okay. So now the spacing is equal between all three crystals? That's correct. And are all three crystals on the same level? No. So I want to go to Arrange and Distribute, Align to Selected, and let's say we select Top. We do something like that. Okay. Perfect. It's done. Okay. Now fix that spot inside the A there. So I'm going to zoom back in. Uh, again, I'm going to select the one of the elements. I'm going to hold my Alt key down. So here, the software perfectly hit the corner. But because those two stones would effectively collide, it prevented that from happening, correct? Correct. That's the way the uh, routine works, yes. So what I've done is I've selected the element, and I'm holding my Alt key down, and I'm moving the object over, and I'm going to release. And I've now, um, I've now created another element uh, to fill in that space. Would that not be an error? Because in the, if you ran this on the robot, one stone would be popped down, and the next stone would knock it off. Uh, it, yes, it's showing as a, it would have it, it would collide here. So can we arrange this so they don't collide? Uh, well, I can grab the element and I can position it uh, wherever I want on this line, and I'm just using my arrow keys to move these ar move this around. Okay. So now let's try and arrange my spacing so that it's symmetrical. Okay, so now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm selecting the first element, and then I have to tell the program what elements I'm going to be aligning, right? So I'm holding my shift key, and I'm going to single click on this element, and this element. Still holding the shift key. I'm still holding the shift key, and then this element. So y you notice that the, all the highlighted um, elements have changed to a, a different color. Now I'm going to go back to a layout. Arrange and distribute, align to selected, and I'm going to do equal horizontal spacing. Okay. So now are those two stones, I just want to create a bigger space. So those two top ones, just make the top one, the top left one go left a notch, and the top right one go right a notch. Okay. So what I'm doing, um, I can I've selected that element, and I can use the arrow key on my keyboard, uh, the left arrow key, to s move it over slightly. Yep. And I just hit it once, so that was one click on my um, my arrow key. I can then move over to the other one. I'm selecting that, and I can use the arrow key on my keyboard to move that over as well one. Can you do me a favor and quickly, while we're here, show me a preview of what the motif template board would look like? Uh, I'm going to zoom back so we can look at this. Now, if I go to the View menu and I go Show Tool Diameter, showing the, uh, the size of the hole that will be created when you output the file to the, to the Motif Maker. Okay, I want to ask you to do one more thing. Go back to the other view. 
Okay, I'm going back to view and turning off show tool diameter. This is just my preference. I would like you to remove one stone from the outside of the A on either side and then realign them because it just looked a bit crowded because the rule we applied was a specific spacing. Okay. And you notice on the bottom and those ones are spaced more just because of collision rules. Okay. So I just want to realign that if you don't mind. You're holding the shift key, I see. Yes, I am. I'm holding the shift key. See, with the crystals, is always a personal preference, and it's the beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but you're expressing somebody's logo in dots, so you sometimes just want to make it look a bit more symmetrical. That not, you know. And the, what I could have done is, overall, just the first time I applied the crystal, it changed the